Spectre DIY can use the smart cards for secure key storage. And the smart cards are basically a secure element uh, that have a minimal implementation of Java virtual machine on them, really, really minimal uh, for secure applications. Uh, and it hides all the hardware security and all the complexity from the developer. Uh, so we can write uh, fully open source uh, applications for the smart cards. Uh, without signing any NDAs uh, and uh, looking into this proprietary stuff that is writing on the card. Uh, we can't really verify that the secure elements and this uh, Java card implementation works uh, really secure, so it's closed source and we can only say that okay, it's much better than any general purpose microcontroller because uh, okay, it is designed with the security in mind and it is used uh, for government IDs and transport cards and uh, banking cards as well. Uh, so it's for sure better than the general purpose microcontroller. But we don't trust them too much. So what we do in Spectre DIY, we encrypt the Bitcoin secret and store it uh, on the card encrypted. So you need both the card and the device in order to do Bitcoin transactions. And the Java card uh, actually never knows uh, the Bitcoin secret itself, but we can use the features that it provides, like the pin code verification and uh, all these um, <coughs> uh, secure mechanisms uh, to keep our secrets a little bit safer. Uh, so to get the card, uh, we can, yeah, they are all over the, over the shelves, uh, the ones that we use. Uh, and we tested it currently on this uh, one particular card uh, from NXP that you can buy uh, online, like this shop, for example, Smart Card Focus on Java Card OS as well. And you can just Google that. So what we need to get the applet uh, on the card, first we need the card. And second, we need a smart card reader. So you can Google on Amazon, uh, search on Amazon uh, for they are pretty cheap, all these card readers. Uh, so you connect it to your computer, insert the card, and then you can upload the applet there. Uh, so to get the applet, we need to go to this repository, Crypt Advanced Spectre Java Card, and we can go to the releases and download two files. So the first one is the applet itself. It is memory card applet, so here or here. And then the second one, we need an open source tool that will be able to talk to our card. And we use this Global Platform Pro uh, project. This is really great uh, project. So you can download this GPJAR file or exe if you are on Windows. Uh, and uh, then when we have both of them, we can actually uh, start uh, talking to the card. Uh, so we need to have Java installed just because the project is written in Java. And so now we have these two files here. Uh, and what we do, we do Java minus jar, uh, then we say we use GP jar, and then first so let's check that we can communicate with the card. So we can type minus L, uh, and it will list all the um, entries that are on the card. So we see on the empty card that there are two entries. The first one, uh, ISD, is uh, basically the thing that is managing the applets on the card. So you cannot delete it. It is like uh, this uh, card management and firewall and applet stuff. Uh, and then the second one is for security domains. Uh, if you have more than one uh, applet, you can isolate them nicely and so on. So we are not using that uh, as well. So to get the applet on the card, what we need to do, we need to type the same command and then we just type install memory card applet.cap. So when it is installed, uh, it will take uh, a while, uh, not very long, so hopefully it will be done. Uh, we will have the applet on the card and we can check it again with the list command. Um, let's wait for it to upload. Uh, and you see that uh, here we use, uh, the tool is using the default factory keys uh, that uh, allow you to upload anything on the card. And this means that everybody, anybody can actually upload stuff to the card. And probably this is not exactly what you need. So the applets on the card are very well isolated. So the data uh, that is belonging to a certain applet can only be accessed by this applet. And if you are 
updating it, uh, the data will be erased. So basically updating means you delete the applet and then reinstall it. So this means that in principle, even if someone tries to uh, upload a different applet to the card, uh, it will not get any access to the card if everything is implemented correctly on the card implementation. Uh, so you see now I uh, listed the applets and I see uh, the new package and the new applet in the list. So this one, uh, the selectable, is our memory card applet that Spectre DIY will be able to talk to and to store the secret on it. If we want to delete it, uh, we want to delete this and also the package. So to delete, well, let me just show you how to do it. So you type delete and then you type the package ID and then to delete both the applet and the package you also say uh, minus F meaning force so delete everything that is needed to be deleted to clean up like this package uh, so I will not run it uh, because well we just installed the applet I don't want to wait uh, for a few more minutes uh, and now let me show how to lock the card so if you really want to make sure that only you will be able to uh, upload the applets and the applets to the card uh, you just need to change these factory keys to something different uh, so for this we can use uh, the lock command and then uh, we say that the key should be something different so it is a hex so i will just slightly tweak it uh, to like change the last mm, last veteran here, last byte, uh, and let's see if it works. Okay, so the card worked now with our new key, and now if I try to list the applets without providing the key, it will actually show me the scary warning that the key doesn't match, and this means that after a few tries, it will even lock the card completely. So you should be very careful with this, um, with these commands without the correct keys because you will basically break the card after a while. Uh, so if you want to do this with your key, you just provide the key that is uh, with E at the end, right? So if you provide the key, then everything is still working. And if you want to unlock, you just type unlock. And then it will set uh, the key back to the factory key. Uh, okay, and now we can again run the minus L command and it will work. So this is how you upload the applet and how you uh, lock the card to your unique key. Now let's talk about uh, compilation of the applet uh, from scratch. So here we just downloaded the applet from the releases. Uh, but if you want to really make sure that the applet that you downloaded is correct and it is built from source uh, that we provide here and I'm not uh, trying to screw you up, uh, you can actually download the whole repository, inspect the code and so on. So uh, I do git clone of the repository with the recursive flag because we also have uh, some submodules there. Uh, you can also go through the manual that is here that uh, explains how to install like, Java and and like build tools and so on. Uh, and now uh, you can build the applet. So we go to Spectre Java card folder that we just cloned and we type ant uh, memory card. Uh, I think it's memory, just memory card. Yeah, so you see it is building and the build is successful and this means that we will have a new uh, build folder and then inside there will be cap uh, subfolder and inside you will have this memory card applet that we downloaded from the releases So, but built by yourself. So now you can use the same GP uh, jar tool that is included in the repository as well so you see it here uh, and uh, just upload the card that you built yourself uh, so after that you basically have the card that you can use with spectre diy